All right, YouTube, it's time to do it again here. A lot has happened in the past few days since the last uh, video. Um, I just got these two corals last night because I was at the shop. Uh, it's a Leptoceras, a green Leptoceras. Looks pretty cool. It's supposed to be a fast grower. And under the light at the shop, these bird nests look really good, like a dark green with big polyp extension, but they really haven't come out yet. They're starting to now. And then I saw these zoas, which looked really cool. So I did a little bit of impulse buying. That's what it's all about, getting back into my old habits. Um, these are just opening up now. I was a little worried about those. So what's going on here, as you can see, I still have this dino. And I believe, um, basically everything was going great. I did have some green hair algae. I dosed a product called Vibrant, just as the directions said. It was the salt water version, not the reef version. I didn't know there was a difference until later. Um, one is supposed to be stronger. And I did the dose and the green hair algae disappeared. Great. Um, things looked great, tank was doing good. I said, you know what? I have a little bit of green hair here and there a couple weeks later. So I figured, let me do a maintenance dose. So I dosed a maintenance dose. That was the mistake. What this product does is it eats up the algae and I guess it wipes out your nitrates and your phosphates. So I have zero nitrates, zero phosphates. And supposedly that's the, uh, the good recipe for dinos. And my remedy so far has just been puffing up the sand bed and siphoning out the water back into a bucket with some filter floss and then pouring that water back into the system, blowing off the rock. And, um, and that's it. This uh, Duncan here doesn't really want to open up, but yet this Duncan does. So I don't know what, what the deal is. It's pretty much in the same position as far as light goes. Um, I'm not sure why it's not happy. The heads on the other side are getting bigger. So that's a good sign. This bird's nest just keeps popping these little nodules of new growth. This one keeps getting wider. So I think the tank is actually good for uh, small polyp corals, because all those are doing great. You look at the polyps are extending as we speak, actually. Um, and these LPSs are doing good. But in the last video, you can see a little bit of decaying on the Xenia. And that has been going on hardcore for the past week or so. And they've gotten really scrawny and smaller and I blow them off and they look like they want to recover. And then I see more dead, dead material and the GSP don't want to open up. So I think these are telltale signs of having no, so quote unquote, dirty water for them to, to eat and consume life from. Uh, so, uh, I love this. This is my favorite right there. That's my favorite. To me, that looks great. Uh, there's some dirt. I have dirty glass right now. So with all the siphoning and elbow time, elbow time, that's what I just coined that phrase, elbow time with my arm in the tank. Uh, things are a little bit dirty and disturbed. So, uh, I went, took a water sample cause I wanted to test my magnesium to see where that was at because, uh, my sample kit expired and uh that guy I man he doesn't stop he's got a fat belly he eats everything he eats rubber look he's eating a rubber band <laughs> anyways so i took my water in to get um tested for magnesium because i don't have a magnesium test kit they didn't have one either that they could sell me they ran out and um the one i have from red sea expired and it doesn't show any color change and they tested me and I was at 1500. So my magnesium is good. My alkalinity is at eight. My pH is at 8.1 ish. Um, and I also uh, increased the air coming into my air stone in the back of this tank. So I have more fresh air coming in. Maybe that'll give me a little bit more of a pH edge. It's a little bit no more noisy. I'm into silent tanks um, so I can hear that, but it's okay. Uh, and that higher pH and more oxygen in the water, less CO2 will help combat the dyno. 
I'm trying to go as mildly as I can without doing going too crazy. Um, so yeah, zero, you know, in this hobby, you always want low nitrates and low phosphates. And if you get those, you're going to have air, algae and all this stuff. Well, now they make a product out there that'll wipe out your algae, but it also wipes out your nitrates and your phosphates. Um, let me grab the bottle here. So it's not going to focus there. Brightens and cleans aquariums in as little as 12 hours. True. Use it again for maintenance, and that's when I have the problem, I think. I should have just left it be and been perfect. But this this one says for saltwater aquariums, the one they sell at BRS and I is, a, is for reef aquariums. So this might be a little bit more potent and have some um, uh, more bacteria and carbohydrates in it. So... Um, if you buy it, if you want to try it, if you use it very, very sparingly and wisely, don't overdo it. And I would recommend getting the reef formula. And this stuff's not cheap, so I'm kind of stuck with it, I think. I mean, I could probably scam Amazon and fill it with a little bit of water. Not even do that, just package it back up and say I'm not happy with it. I might do that. I'm probably going to do that. I tried it, and I don't like it. I bought the wrong thing, right? So what's the big deal? I'm going to return it. Why should I pay $28 for something I'm not going to use again? So, yeah, I'm going to start feeding more, more oxygen into the tank, feeding more, and not do water changes, and hopefully this bacteria will wear off and stop eating what's causing my issue um, of having no nitrates and no phosphates. And that's about it. I'll, uh, really not going to do anything. My nose are opening up really nicely. I thought I was worried they were going to start to go too with as like the Xenia and if you can see the Xenia they're kind of scrawny if you look at the past videos they were growing like weeds literal weeds perfectly on the back of the tank just as I wanted and now they're shrinking up I actually took some off and put it in my other tank see if they can take foot in there and uh, they're opened up in there nicely <laughs> so believe it or not they're they're really stressing out in this aquarium and you can see uh, that sh strand right there that's what they get they get that and and it comes off and it, then they look okay. Then more of that shit piles up on them or that's probably them shriveling up. I don't know how it works, but anyways. And this guy here, he's got color and he looks like he wants to come out. Comes out a little bit and that's about it. I bought this here. Uh, that right there is a Lef Leftisaria, Leftisaria coral. That's nice looking coral. And this bird's nest, which doesn't look as nice as it did in the shop, but hopefully it'll get there. And these are some really nice looking uh, zoas, but they're just starting to wake up now. And uh, everything else is doing okay. The, these are doing okay. That's starting to develop another head on the end there, which is good. This one's doing good. Duncan's are doing great. All these, all these small polyps, corals are doing good. That one's growing on the edges of the uh, frag. I love this one. Uh, Montipora looks good. Trump candy cane corals looks good. So, and that one looks good as usual. Hopefully we can get this under control and get some more growth on all these corals. And that's it. Have a good day.